team, I hope you're all well. Today we are going to be doing the mid-year book freakout tag. Uh, I am a little bit late on this. I wanted to have it done literally by the middle of the year, which is like very early on in July. Um, I haven't included any of my July reads in this, so I've only included everything that I read up to the end of June. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. I'm really excited. I've never done this one before, so I'm really hyped. But without further ado, let's get into it. I've got all of the questions written down here. So the first one is the best book that I've read so far in 2021. And now this kind of ties in a little bit with the second question um, because I was going to pick the first in this series. However, that isn't the best book I've read this year. It's the second in the series. And that book is Night Shadow by Sebastian de Castell, which I picked up this series because of Jade. This is one of her all-time favourite series. In fact, it might be her all-time favourite series, which is the Greycoat series. And this is book two in the series. So this got a 9.71 on Core Pile, which is a really high rating. If you don't know what Core Pile is, it is a rating system that I use that G from Book Roast has set up. I'll leave a link to G's channel down below and her videos where she explains everything. But uh, yeah, I use Core Pile to rate my books, help me rate my books anyway. And yeah, this is my favourite book of the year so far. And I really, really loved this series. I ended up binging the whole lot at the start of the year. So I loved it so much. Night Shadow, Jade, you have infiltrated my reading. Congratulations. <laughs> Question number two is the best sequel you have read so far this year. So naturally, it would be Night Shadow. However, that is the best book I've read so far this year. So for best sequel, I actually have two. Both of these got 9.57 on a core pile. So I have Act Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. I really, really loved this book. This is the third and final book in the Brown Sisters series. And I really, really enjoyed it. The smut in here was fantastic. The romance in here was fantastic. The autistic rep, I think, was fantastic. But also, please do uh, look out for Own Voices reviews. I am not autistic, so do that, please. Um, but yeah, just really, really loved this one and this is the like I said third and final book so it is a sequel and then I also picked up the third book in the Grace Coat series because again 9.57 on Core Pile which is Saint's Blood and again really really loved this series this is not the last book in the series you will see on this mid-year freak out tag um so yeah I highly recommend this one if you are into your very very dark high epic fantasy um extremely dark but also hilarious the characters in here are fantastic but it is very very dark many many trigger warnings do be careful um i'll link some reading vlogs up here throughout that you can where you can check out my views on these books because uh, they are a huge feature of this entire tag to be perfectly honest so yeah another one that jade infiltrated Question number three is a new release that I haven't read yet, but I really, really want to. And for this one, I'm actually going to pick up an indie book. So I have Judgment Day by Josie Jaffrey. Now, Josie Jaffrey is an indie published author that I have been following now for a really, really long time. Um, I've read all of her first series, which is the Solace Invicti series. And I'm partway through her second series, which is the Sovereign series. And this is the third series, The Seekers. And book two came out very recently. I got an arc of book one, uh, which was May Day earlier on this year last year late last year before it came out uh, and really really enjoyed it i gave it four stars i think so i'm really excited to continue on with this series but i just haven't had the chance to pick it up yet i really need to make time to pick this up but yeah i really love josie's writing style she writes a, a lot of um adult vampire books they have many smut <laughs> They have lots of smut in them. I really, really enjoy them. Um, highly recommend. Please go pick them up. Pick up the Solace and Victor series before you pick up the Sovereign series. But you can read this one at any point, essentially. So go check her out. She's amazing. Number four is the most anticipated books that you are interested in for the rest of the year. So I have two on this list. There's many, many books that I'm interested in uh, for later on this year. But the main two are Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. I'll show a picture of it here because I obviously don't own it. It's not out yet. Um, but I'm really, really excited about this one. I think this comes out in October. I'll put the date here. Um, so I'm really excited about this one because I love TJ Klune's writing style. I've really enjoyed the other books that I've read from him so far. So I'm excited about that one. And the second book that I'm excited about is Darling by Kay Ankrum. Again, show a picture of it here. This one comes out in August, I think. 
put the date here and I'm hyped about this one because I've loved her other two books. The Wicked King was one of my favourite books of 2020. I really enjoyed her other one as well. I can't remember the name of it. I'll show a picture of it here. But I'm really excited for Darling. So I cannot wait to get my hands on that one. I have pre-ordered it. So it will be coming very soon i hope um so yeah those are two books that i'm really excited about for later on in the year i say later on in the year i'm fairly certain actually i might be lying about darling i think you sit on a throne of lies I think it comes out at the end of this month whatever it's an anticipated release <laughs> Number five was my biggest disappointment and for this one I'm really sad because Jade has infiltrated my reading a lot this year um, and I picked up Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne-Jones and I didn't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. But I don't like it. 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 Um, so I gave this one two stars. I was not a fan of the writing style. It was, I mean, this is an older book anyway, so naturally it was an older writing style, um, but it was very much slice of life and I was just bored. I didn't care for the characters. It's a real shame. I was really, really gutted because I, this was a highly anticipated book for me. It was, I thought it was going to be a five star prediction and I was devastated to give it two stars. So it's my most disappointing book of the year because I wanted to love it so bad and I just didn't like it. So really, really sad about that one and not happy at all. The biggest surprise for me, however, was The Poppy War by R.F. Kwong. I read this in January, I think it was, and I ended up giving this five stars. Now, I 100% thought that I was going to DNF this. It's political um, and it's uh, very, very high fantasy. It's like political high fantasy that is in a setting that I normally would not like. So I thought that I was going to DNF this. 100% thought I wasn't even going to get to page 100 and I was going to DNF this. I did not. I loved this. I gave it five stars. It was fantastic. And I'm really excited to continue on with the, with the series. I just haven't yet. I think I'm nervous that as I get further into the series, I'm not going to like it as much. Um, but over, yeah, I just, I loved this. Loved it. So surprised. And I think this will still be my biggest surprise of the year towards the end of the year as well. I think it will continue to be my biggest surprise of 2021. So yeah, outstanding. Amazing. Question number seven is a favourite new author. For this one, I have picked two because it wouldn't be right just to pick one. So one of them is Elle Kennedy and uh, this is why she's my new favourite author. I read all of these in um, June. Back to back. I only owned the deal to start off with and then I binged the whole of the Off Campus series, read the first in the Bryce U series, I now have the rest in the Bryce U series and I have the fifth book in the Off Campus series in my um, special little remember these book wish list. So I love Elle Kennedy's writing style, it's fantastic, her smut seas are outstanding, really enjoy her writing style. The second one is Sebastian de Castell, obviously. Um, found him this year and I have loved his books ever since. Also, Jay did an interview with him this year which was one of the most cutest, wholesome videos I have ever seen in my life. If you have not seen it yet, please do go and check it out. I'll link Jay down below and if I remember to do so, I will also link that interview down below because it was freaking amazing. Not only is Sebastian one of the nicest people on the planet, but Jade interviewing him was just one of the most wholesome things to ever see. So yeah, Sebastian and Elle Kennedy have been some of my new favourite author th authors this year. Number eight is newest fictional crush and for this one I have gone for Tucker from The Goal. I really, really love him. He is adorable. He is just the sweetest bean. He's really, really nice, wants to do the right thing um, for everybody, but without compromising himself as well. And I really, really admire that in a guy. So just a really, really nice dude. And I really, really into him. He's a book character. I'm really into him. He's just chef's kiss. Amazing. Really like him. Your newest favourite character for this for this one, I am going for one, but I'm kind of going for three. So I'm going to pick this back up again. Um, I'm going for Falcio from the Great Coat series. I just love him. I think he's amazing. His storytelling is fantastic. I know it's Seb's storytelling, but his storytelling is fantastic. And I just really, really love him. But also Kest and Brasty, because they are a 
trio essentially they come as a package deal and i love them all together i love them separately but i love them all together even more so it's got to be falchio kest and brasti definitely i absolutely adore them so much so yet again jade um <laughs> but yeah just love them favorite new characters i really really want more from them i don't know if we're gonna get more from them but i really really want more from them so yeah that's where i'm at Question number 10 is a book that made you cry. I'm going to hold this up again. It was Tyrant's Throne by Sebastian de Castell. I think I've cried at a few books this year, but this one, I sobbed my heart out at the end. Um, I was really, really sad because it was the end of the book, but also because of what happened at the end of the book. I loved it so much. The journey that I went on with these guys, outstanding, amazing. Sobbed my heart out. Sebastian, you broke me. <laughs> Number 11 is a book that made me happy. I have picked two for this one. So the first one is Heartstopper Volume 4 by Alice Oseman. This is just one of the most wholesome graphic novels I've ever read in my life. I absolutely love it. Again, I think I cried with this one, but also it just made me so, so happy. I love being with these two. They're adorable. Nick and Charlie are like just so cute um so yeah this one made me really really happy and then another one that made me really happy was this entire series but the polar bear explorers club series by alex bell i ended up binging this entire series during polarthon earlier on this year in february and it was fantastic it made me so happy these characters are amazing i just had the best time on this journey with them and yeah i literally owned the first one read it and was like i need the next two and i need to binge the whole lot right now so that's what i did so i really really love this one it did make me really really happy yet again another jade wreck um so yeah loved it so much Number 12 is the most beautiful book you've bought or received this year. So I'm actually going for a fairy loot book because why wouldn't I? They are some of the most beautiful books on my shelves. And I'm going for The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. I still have my bookmark in here because I've still not fucking finished this book. But this is one of the most beautiful books on my shelves and it's the most beautiful book I have gotten this year. So to start off with, we have purple sprayed edges on top and bottom. We then have stenciled edges on the side. Um, we have the exclusive cover because the original cover looks like this. So really beautiful exclusive cover. Then under the dust jacket, because we don't stop there, underneath the dust jacket we have this artwork, which is absolutely stunning and I'm obsessed with. And we have this, which is just one of the prettiest things I've ever seen in my life. So this book wins that award 100% <laughs> I do still need to finish it though um so yeah absolutely love this one this is definitely the prettiest book that I have received this year 100% and then the final question is what books do I need to read by the end of the year how long have you got <laughs> I have picked a couple off that I really really want to read and just have not gotten around to yet so the first one is The Mask Falling by Samantha Shannon I don't know what I was going to say then by Samantha Shannon um I do need to read the novella that comes before this which is this one I can't remember the name of it but I do want to read this one soon it is kind of chunky which doesn't intimidate me because it's smaller than a lot of the books I've already read this year but um i just haven't picked it up yet and i think it's because i'm nervous because i don't know when the next one's going to come out because this only came out this year so there's a bit of that going on but i really want to read the mass falling i also really want to read vengeful which i show a picture of here because it's downstairs and i'm too lazy to go and get it vengeful which i am aiming to still read the at some point during this month um so i am hoping i will get to that one and then i've also got star side by brendan sanderson which is book two in the I don't know what the series is called but it's the sequel to skyward cytonic is coming out later on this year which is the third one in the series i don't know how many books are going to be in this series but uh yeah i really want to read this one i did get halfway through in fact my bookmark's still there i did get here earlier on last year in february and didn't finish it off so i would like to read this book and actually finish it um so yeah that is everything for my major book freak out tag it's the book in the middle that throws me off um but yeah i 
uh, a lot of Sebastian de Castell. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Um, I've been having the best time. So yeah, it's been a really good start to my year. I have been having a good time. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these. Um, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have gotten to the end and you don't want to leave another comment, leave a rainbow. Because why not? Rainbows are cool. Um, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.